tragic loss, army drafts, family, and the Chinatown community. All of these things are what helped my grandfather make an impact. This is the story of my grandfather, Davis Wu. Like many other Asian American families, it was difficult finding a job and providing for a family, especially when there are nine children. In 1931, my grandfather and his family started the Wu Jin Laundromat after they moved to Charleston, West Virginia. My sisters and brothers and father, they did so well and gained recognition because there were not enough Chinese there for them to, for people to, to, uh, discriminate against. You know, if you were the only one in Boston, they, they, they would give you better recognition because you did well, everybody recognized that. But if there's a thousand of you, then uh, you would feel a little bit different. In 1946, my grandfather moved to Boston, Massachusetts with his family. They were able to assimilate to the U.S. culture very quickly. My grandfather and his siblings picked up interest in American sports, mostly in basketball. In 1946, my grandfather and his brother Ray joined the Marinals basketball team. When they reached high school, my grandfather played basketball for the Rosendale High School team in 1949. Mostly, I feel s sad that uh, I didn't uh, appreciate the uh, the whole thing as much as I do now. I miss missing him and everything. It was sort of sad. With his father and his brother passing away. My grandfather valued his family much more than he did in the beginning. He was determined to succeed for his father and his brother. In 1952, my grandfather attended college at MIT. After his years in the Army and at MIT, my grandfather started his bioengineering career at Monsanto. I felt proud of myself that I could rise to a position I was at Monsanto because they realized that I could do good work and I was a good manager and I treated people fairly. The only, reason, the only pressure that I always felt was that I would never be a big president of the company or some big officer in the company because they I always thought they would, they didn't hire Chinese for that position. That was motivation for me to do better and do as well as I can. During his job, he was able to meet my grandmother Susan at a business party in 1954. A couple of years later, they both got married. My grandfather was determined to support and prepare for a better future for my family, but also for the Chinatown community in Boston. He knew that Asian American families living in Chinatown experienced very similar obstacles during their lives to try to succeed in the U.S. Therefore, in the 1960s, my grandfather became heavily involved in working with Chinatown. The people that attended the task force meeting and everything uh, realized that the grievances were real and wanted to do something. So that's how the people that got together for this task force was not just uh, the ordinary person owner or professional outside of Chinatown, but recognized that hey, they, they want to do something just like, uh, like improving Chinatown. And the motivation for Everybody working like that is that they could see, hey, we need uh, uh, to protect uh, the Chinatown community from being overrun 
by major businesses from the hospital institution and uh, maintain the recognition that there is a Chinatown community that was worth spending money and time for the community, for the city of Boston. The unfair and early death of his mother was one of the biggest obstacles my grandfather ever faced in his life. But it did not stop him from continuing his work in supporting Chinatown and his family. In 1986, my grandfather became the president of the Jihao Oakton Association in the Chinese Consolidated Benevolent Association. He wanted to make sure that he did not let his family down and wanted to succeed in accomplishing more goals. In 1992, my grandfather co-founded the Chinese Historical Society of New England. A few years later, they came together to restore the Chinese burial grounds at Mount Hope Cemetery. Personally, I used to feel very disappointed when I go to the uh, um, uh, cemetery to uh, pay our respects as a member of a uh, a family association recognizing that we have earlier family members that have been buried there and forgotten. All of the effort and work that my grandfather has put into the Chinatown community paid off and created a huge impact on the people living in the community. They recognized the support he has put in and wanted to acknowledge him for how much he has done in helping Chinatown become a stronger and successful community. On September 9, 2011, my grandfather received the Sojourner Award by the Chinese Historical Society. Looking back at how much love my grandfather had for his family and for the Chinatown community, I was very inspired by him and motivated to continue where he had left off. <laughs>